All right, so I sort of want to keep this review short and sweet. Is it any good? What are you getting for the price? And then I'll give you my conclusion. So anyways, if you're new here, I'm Endo Prism. I make videos on all the things that you like, so make sure to go ahead, hit that like button, leave a nice comment down below, and most importantly, subscribe. And let's get right into this review. So I'm like a kid on Christmas right now because yet another toy has arrived at my doorstep. This is the In Motion Climber Electric Scooter. To be honest, this just looks like a normal electric scooter, right? And honestly, I thought the same thing until I noticed that this thing has dual motors, which is pretty sick. I've only seen that on higher end models. I guess maybe I'm not too well versed with electric scooters because I'm more of an e-bike guy, but I saw that I was intrigued. A couple weeks later, got this thing at my doorstep and I am excited to unbox this thing. All right, let's get in. Looks like we just gotta unlatch these and open her up. Ooh, look at this. Looks like they got instructions here on how to open this box. We're gonna ignore that because when you ignore instructions, it's always a better adventure. All right, so looking at this presentation they give us right off the bat, I've done a couple unboxings in the last few months. This is probably one of the better ones, right? Some, some are worse than others. Some, it's like they just throw the bike or electric scooter in the box. This one, it looks like they really put some thought into how they have the foam and everything laid out here. And then of course, it looks like we have our power adapter, AKA our charger, tiny electric scooter charger, but toolbox, which is nice. And I love getting these toolboxes because I'm always losing Allen keys and stuff. So. Some extra inner tubes, which is nice. Oh. <sighs> okay. All right, so now that we got the scooter in box, let's go over its standout features. Of course, we got dual motors supplying you with 1500 watts of power, which is gonna help you get up those hills better than your average electric scooter sort of in this caliper. You got a nice rear tail light as well as a front light, which is gonna give you a little bit more safety at night with turn signals. And I think these turn signals are absolutely awesome. You got a rear disc brake. It's not hydraulic. It is um, just a regular mechanical disc brake. You got this nice rubber deck, which is gonna give you good grip, especially in wet conditions. This locking stem design, making sure that your stem is not gonna be wobbling as you're riding. And then this LCD display, which shows you all the information about your scooter, all wrapped up in a very high quality waterproof package. But anyways, now that we've gone over it, let's take this thing for a spin. All right, so we got this thing all set up, ready to go. We got our cameras in action, and I'm excited to get on this thing, test it out on some real roads over here. Now, I have ridden this thing around a little bit. Obviously, I, I couldn't quite hold myself back from just like not touching it, but this is the first time I'm really taking it out for a good ride. Go ahead and turn this thing on here. If I haven't already mentioned, there is a app that you actually need to get. I think it's the InMotion app to get this thing set up so that it goes. Right out of the box, this thing only goes like, one or two miles per hour but you need to actually unlock it in the app and i thought it was stupid at first but once you get unlocked and you um you know take a look at the app it's actually pretty nice um because you're able to actually look at all the all the different data what your top speed is um how the exact battery percentage that you have left you can even look at the health of each individual battery cell in your battery so i think it's really cool sometimes i think technology like having more technology is not always better but I do like the app with this scooter, I gotta say. Um, all right, let's take off with this thing. So we're in sport mode right now, immediately heading up a hill and we're going about 17 to 18 miles per hour. So about the top speed of most scooters, um, sort of in this price range. One thing I gotta say is, you know, if you, if you got an average scooter, you know, 250 watts, single motor, maybe 500 watts, going up these hills is not easy for those. And I, I know that from personal experience, you, you might be going, you know, they say I was going 22 miles per hour. Hold on. You, you know, you, you might be trying to send it up a hill and you're only going, you know, 15 miles per hour or less, right? You might be going 10 miles per hour. This thing, dual motors, 1500 watts of power total this thing's gonna get up here no issue yeah i'm just flying up this this is pretty steep portion right here man look at that view still going 18 miles per hour Whew, little speed bump 
I do wish it did have some suspension because I think that's it's kind of the standard I think these days just have at least a little bit of dampening so it would be nice if the scooter was able to provide that but nevertheless I mean if you're using this thing in a concrete jungle or on a college campus like it's definitely it's definitely gonna do the job although it would be nice to be able to send this on on some light off-road trails like you can with a lot of other scooters I would like to take a moment to show you how well this thing accelerates there's that single brake so I'm just, I'm, I'm going up a hill here and you'll see with the Insta360 camera, I'm gonna angle it down so you can see that this front wheel will actually spin out. Boom. I mean, no average electric scooter is doing that. I do say it also has turn signals too. You can probably see them on my camera right now. Like even though it's day, like these are super bright, super bright. And because they go, um, because of the position they're in. Oh, oh, we got a little air there. That all went straight into my knees. But anyways, what I was saying about the turn signals is because of the position they're in, they do stick out a lot. I'm gonna try to go around this current turn. I think this thing handles very well. We're about to go past this truck here. See, look, open roads like this, top speed is not cutting it. 21 miles per hour, that's not doing it for me. You know, you gotta, this thing already has 1500 watts of power and, it, and they're limiting it. Oh shit, that was rough. They're limiting it to 21. I don't know if there's a way where you can break that, but like, it just feels too slow. So that's, uh, that's this scooter, man. I think I'm definitely going to find a lot of use for it. Um, for me personally, I think it's the type of thing where it's like, if I'm not able to go down a certain road with my car, like it's blocked off, you you, you un unleash the scooter because this will fit in a Honda Accord, no problem. And then you just take it out and you explore. And this is this is like, you take this from your home base, your port, and then you, 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 you send it on it and then you go explore with this type of scooter. That's where I would have liked to see a little bit of suspension come into play because for me, I think if you're exploring or, or going somewhere with a scooter and anybody, everybody's going to be going, encountering little off-road bits, right? And this thing just does not handle it very well on those off-road portions. I think if you're in a college campus, right, especially like UCSB, you're, um, it's just going to be a lot of paved roads and stuff. And this scooter will do that great, but then... I mean, everywhere, everywhere there's little dirt roads and stuff that you're, you're going to want to take a shortcut across. So, but I think for most people as a commuter, if you got a lot of hills in your area, if you're in sort of like a concrete jungle where it's like, you know, you don't got a lot of like uneven or bad terrain, this is probably a good scooter for you, I think, especially if you got a lot of hills, like I mentioned. It's going to give you an edge over other scooters because with a lot of scooters, you got to kind of get off and pedal because they just don't give you the power uh, necessary, but this thing with the dual motors and 1500 watts is definitely going to get the get you there. I would also like to mention with the scooter, I love how they like manage the wires on this. You you can't even see it, but here's the the e braking wire right here. So there's wires going through here. Here's the wire coming from the throttle. You can't even see it. Like you can't even tell that it's there. That's like probably my favorite part of this bike that that it just has like super great cable management. Everything is just so like, so tight and like, it, it's, it's just like, it's good. I love it. I love to see it. Um, I also love the look of this scooter. I mean, the orange with the black and the, and the gray. I think it's a good color scheme. It's one of my, one of my favorite color schemes, I think. Solid scooter, man. By the way, if you're looking to purchase one of these, um, you can use the link down in the description below this video. I'll, I'll make sure to go ahead, leave that down below. All right, so my final conclusion on the scooter, I don't really know if this was for me because I do like to have a vehicle where I can actually take it off road some, and you just really can't do this with this scooter. Even going on grass is just a little bit too rough. But I think for anybody who lives in a place where maybe you don't have any trails and maybe you have a lot of hills along your commutes, I think this is great for you. Like I said earlier in this video, college campuses, college campuses, college campuses. I think this is gonna give you 
an edge over most other scooters just because it has that awesome acceleration. Anyways, that's my two cents. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, leave a nice comment down below, and I'll see you guys soon in the next one. Later.